Hey, thanks for watching Marching Health. We're gonna take you through a dynamic warm-up in place. A lot of times we teach dynamic warm-ups in an across the floor or across the field style, but with social distancing, we know that many bands are setting up in a very large block and just don't have room on the field to be able to do that across the field style. So we're gonna do it in place so your kids don't have to move but still can get through a warm-up on their own. We're gonna start from the top down, so we're gonna start with neck rolls. You might feel some cracks or pops as you go through a couple of these exercises that influence spine movement. That's totally normal. That's just pressure in the joints being released. As long as you're not having pain, it's a very <clears throat> okay um, feeling to have. So we're gonna start with large circles, going 10 each direction with neck rolls. Don't go too fast, don't make yourself dizzy. I'm gonna start with my head down. Roll this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're gonna go through arm circles, taking your arms through their full range of motion. If you have any shoulder issues, you may wanna do small circles just to work on control of those rotator cuff muscles without having any pain. I'm gonna go through 10 forward and 10 backwards. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm gonna do arm swings forward to backwards so you get the chest muscles and those shoulder blade muscles going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here we're gonna go into trunk twist, moving your entire spine, keeping your feet planted but rotating all the way through, not inhibiting spine motion. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to do what we call hip swings, which takes your leg through an entire front range and back range, flexion and extension range of motion. You're going to feel it stretching your hip flexors when you go back and in your glutes and hamstrings when you go forward. This is really good for helping you develop that mobility to take large steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing on the other side. And 10 reps is just a starter recommendation. Really do whatever your kids need as far as the reps they need. You could also set a clock and do 30 seconds of each exercise. So they're going at more of their own pace. Next, I'm gonna do slow high knees, just tucking my knee up to my chest, feeling it stretching my glute. You can even add a little bit of a hip rotation here so you feel those deep hip rotators. Get a good stretch. Not holding it for very long, just getting into that range of motion. And then I'm gonna go with fast high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do something for the lower leg and shin muscles. Let's do heel toe rocks, rocking backwards and going up. So toes lifted, then heel lifts. Toe lifts, heel lifts. Toe raises, calf raises. You can have your horns up if you want to, just to get them in the mindset of doing a heel to toe rolling technique. Or if you're a little bit more conscientious of the straight leg technique that your band might have, go up onto your toes and do what we call ankle pumps. So heel is elevated and you're just gently flexing up and down your foot and ankle and then tapping it back to the ground. This will really work on your balance and lower leg stability and strength. Last thing we're gonna have you go through is jumping jacks. It's to get your heart rate up and get them ready and mentally focused for band. 25, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You can have some music on throughout the dynamic warm-up just to keep the environment loose and relaxed. 
On the last one, I do have them count the repetitions out loud so they start to communicate verbally and get focused for the actual rehearsal style. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this helps.